Works. Today on Flowworks, what we're going to be working on. So due to the success of my last video, if you haven't seen that, go check out my last video. I basically done a canvas where we done a barrier. So we done one side black, we done one side white, and we come up with this contraction where we blocked the paint from running over from one side of the canvas to the other. Due to that video, and due to all your comments on that video, thank you very much. This one is a little bit bigger, same principle. Go to the other camera now, you can see my contraption. So yeah, as you can see from this, I've done exactly the same again. I've gone down more of an angle, it's a bigger canvas, so it's a bigger stripe that it's gonna leave. I've also gone across with some tape this side. Uh, I've colored this in pink and I've colored this in, in sort of a dark metallic. This is also metallic pink as well. So yeah, what we're hoping for today is we're gonna go one side of the canvas with this blue, just about there, bang. And one side of the canvas with this blue, this side, bang. Chuck in some white here, chuck in some white there, maybe with another metallic each side. I'm not too sure, what do you think? Comment down below if you think these are good color combinations. Give it a blast out, see what we're left with, and take away the tape, hopefully, hopefully, like the last piece, which I was proper excited about, I'm hoping we're left with a masterpiece. Yeah, let's get on with the pour. I'm gonna stop waffling on and let's go. Is anybody else working as much mess as this? Because I think my place here is looking messy. I want to keep it simple. I just want to keep sort of two colors here, the white and the blue and some pink. This side I'm going to keep simple with the blue and the whites. Okay, my paints are mixed up, mainly water with, as always, I sometimes stick some of this in there, which is the pouring medium by Liquitex. I tend not to put that in the metallic, so I've noticed that it sends the metallics a little bit strange. So let's cover this side in the blue. I've added like a pearlescent in this blue as well. As I say, I've no idea whether this is going to work. So like in my last video, I left the corner in like gold. And this time I'm leaving the corner in this real metallic. Wow, that's some colors going on. This is gonna be one of those pieces I think that you're gonna absolutely love or you're gonna absolutely hate. Just trial and error. There's my white in there. There's my white in there. Here we go.
that is absolutely sick. Look at that. That is mental. On a rainy day. that color this side you can just about see on this camera everything's filling over this side I've got some absolutely amazing cells and lacing on this side same on this side and the two blues that work into each other but the light blue and the dark blue really really works well so as I say guys if you're new to this channel please 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 subscribe it's the following morning this has dried overnight I've done a couple of scrapes this morning just to clear the paint from this side. I've done a couple of scrapes this side to clear the paint from that side. And, big moment of truth, I'm going to take away the barrier. Okay, so that is the barrier out of the way. We're now going to peel off the tape, hoping for a decent line. Got a little bit of blue to go in there. I'm gonna put my definition lines in. Let's try peeling off this side. As always guys, I love your comments. Please comment down below what you're thinking about this painting. Still don't know which one to call this. Okay, we're back and we're for the last part of this video. Thank you so much for staying with me on this one. You've probably seen another piece here. This was my previous video. If you want to check that one out, go and watch that. I recommend you go and watch that one. So now we're at the finishing stages on this piece here. And what we're going to be doing is same process as this one. So we're using the exact same resin as on the last one, which is the Master Cast One to One Mix and it's a special resin for artists. And it's a one-to-one -one mix, so it's nice and easy. Now when you're mixing it up, you'll notice that you're, you're pumping loads and loads of air bubbles into that mix. Don't worry about that, but we, those bubbles will not be there once you've uh, spread this over your canvas. Okay, now that that's mixed up, it's now just a case of pouring this onto your canvas. I like to start in the middle and go zigzaggy across half the canvas. I then go down, zigzag the other half. Resin actually goes quite a long way, so sometimes you think, oh, I haven't mixed up enough. And I know there, I have not mixed up enough. 
So yeah, as soon as you pour them two chemicals together, they are starting to go off. It's not that you have to work completely fast, but just so you know that it's a chemical reaction. Okay, so some people brush theirs on, some people roll theirs on, some people pour and tilt. Well, you can try that, but it doesn't seem to run as well as you think it should. I find the best solution is a cake knife. We're just going to work in the middle, work our way out. And this is what makes them colours come back to life. Okay, that, that literally looks as though I've stuck a pane of glass down on that. I mean, you can see from this one in the last video, how really, look at the reflections. So with the sides, I get a bit on the spatula, I run it down the edge of the canvas and then it starts to run. And then I just work that in. You've got time to work with this. It's it's messy, don't get me wrong, but you've got you have got time to work with it. Don't think ah resin goes off really quick. It doesn't. It does start to tack up, but you've got time to work with it. So I'm gonna mix up some more. Last bit on there, like that. Ta-da, there it is, guys. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of this video. I know it's been a long one. Thanks for joining me on this journey. The colour of this is stunning. The glitter in the corner. I'm going to roll some cinematic endings to this video. If you're new to this channel, push subscribe and hit that notification bell. I will see you in the next Flowworks.